All right, y'all, Bitcoin, what is going on? We are pumping like crazy today and things are going on in the world. We need to talk about this right now. As you can see from the chart, actually, wait a second. This is not the Bitcoin chart. This is the Jason Casper like button index chart. As you can see, it's super bullish. Make sure to FOMO into the like button, guys. I usually don't give trade setups in YouTube videos, but right here you can see a great risk to reward ratio, only risking 100% to potentially gain 13%. Make sure to like the dang video, guys, and subscribe to the channel. But getting into Bitcoin, Bitcoin is coming to a crucial area of support and resistance. Actually, right now it is resistance. And when we look at the macro market, we can see something very, very interesting here. First of all, Bitcoin did find support down here at about 32.9K. Not only did it come down to 32.9K, but if we take a look here, we can see that Bitcoin came down to a very interesting confluence, a very interesting area of support. If we go ahead and we take a channel and we put it here at the top and we drag it down to the bottom, we can see that we bounced perfectly off the channel. And not only that, we also did bounce off the highest volume node that we traded all summer right here so why is this so important this is so important because for the first time since november 11th bitcoin potentially is changing market structure on a higher term time frame when we found support right here you can see that not only did we put in a high that was higher than the previous high but we also put in a low that was higher than the previous low potentially changing this downtrend into an uptrend and right now you can see that Bitcoin is currently trading in this important green box why is this so important because this has been our resistance in January resistance over the summer then flip to support 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 and now we can see right now we have lost that level and we are trying really hard to reclaim it so what is going to happen potentially if Bitcoin is able to reclaim this support I have a rooster outside going crazy right now. I don't know if you guys can hear him. There he is. Hang on. Let me shut the door, guys. Let me shut the door so that this rooster, he sounded the alert. He sounded the alert because there's probably a hawk outside or something. He's telling all the hens to get inside the coop. If we can come above this green box, then it's very, very probable that we actually do continue with this bullish market structure potentially hitting some of the targets that I've been talking about for a very long time now. For weeks now, the 382 level at about $47,000 is one of those targets. The $51,000 level or the $55,000 to $57,000 level as potential targets for a relief rally. If we come above this, I could see Bitcoin hitting new all-time highs. So what areas of support do we need to be aware of right now if we are going to potentially get a rejection? Well, first of all, when we look at market cipher B on the weekly time frame, we can see that we are once again printing a green dot on the weekly time frame, potentially even if we're going to take it from this candle close to this candle right now. Price is uh, potentially making lower, getting lower as momentum is getting higher. Some people are calling this a, bear, a bullish divergence. I don't necessarily think I would call it a bullish divergence, but we can see very clearly that the daily is giving us a very nice trigger wave right here after putting in a higher low. So there definitely is upside potential right here. When we came down to our previous higher low, we can see that we got a bullish divergence on the four hour time frame, a very, very strong signal. However, it is possible that we put in a bearish divergence on the four hour time frame right now. So where are the key areas that we must be aware of to potentially find resistance? Well, first of all, if we take a fib from this high to this low, we can see that right now we are currently coming up to a very important area of resistance. The Fibonacci golden pocket retracement between 41.4K and $41.8,000. I would even say to the top of this box, this 42K level, the top of this box right now is very crucial resistance. If Bitcoin can break out of this, then I think we can come much, much higher. So where is my target if we can break this resistance? Well, if we can break this resistance, I think we could potentially come up to that $47,000 level if we take the Fibonacci golden pocket from this swing high here to this swing low. We can see that we've got uh, a $45,000 level, but above that, this is 
clear a clear level of uh, resistance right here, right? No one would argue that, but we've already tapped that. So if we break out of this box, it would be likely that we come higher than that. So the next major area is going to be this super high volume node right here about $47,000. Now this high volume node is not just a high volume node uh, from this little chunk of price action. In fact, I'm pretty sure we could take this entire chunk of price action right here and see that the highest volume node from all the last half of a year is coming in around $47,000. So that is going to be a major level that I'm going to be watching out for. And again, not only is that a super high volume node, but that is also the 382 Fibonacci level to the dollar from the swing high to the swing low. So if we can come above that 382, then the next major target that we need to be aware of, obviously this high right here at 51K, but this 55 to $57,000 level is going to be very, very important. So those are the targets and Bitcoin potentially right now changing market structure. Now, this is very, very juicy. I am actually long from right here. This is a trade setup we did give in advance in the VIP Discord. If you want to join the VIP Discord where we post trade setups in advance as well as daily technical analysis updates, video updates, two live streams a week, daily charts and trade setups as well as a thriving team of traders, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. Also, if you want to learn how to trade these charts, you can check out jasoncaspertrading.com. This course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader. It will walk you through step-by-step step how you can systematize your trading. This has helped many struggling and losing traders become profitable traders. Even people are quitting their jobs to trade full-time because what this does is it gives you a very clear system where you can look at a chart and know within an instant whether or not you should be entering a trade in which direction to enter it, how to use good risk management so that even if you're not the best trader in the world and you're taking losses, you're not blowing your account, as well as how to stop trading with emotion how to step-by-step -step systematize your trading. There's currently a 30% discount in the description of the video. You can check out these testimonials right here, guys. Going through everything you need to know to get started, a great foundation. Check out the 30% discount if you're interested. So what if we do reject from this area? Because as we can see right here, we are in fact getting some potential bearish divergences as we come up into this area. Well, if we are unable to come above this key area of resistance, which is the Fibonacci golden pocket, then we need to be aware of potential levels to the downside. Now, some of the most significant levels to the downside right now are obviously going to be the Fibonacci uh, pulls, right? So if we were to reject from right here, then we would be looking to the downside to potentially get into some long trades and the first major area that I would be looking for, let's say that this was the top for example, is I would be pulling a fib from the swing low to the swing high. And we can see that maybe retesting this low down here would be an interesting area. We could also take a look at some of the volume potentially from the low to the high and see that we have a high volume node right here. So we might say, okay, if we're going to continue higher from here and we need to cool down a little, perhaps we come down to uh, bounce off this high volume node 382. Or let's say that we come down even lower, then we'd be looking down to the golden pocket potentially for a bounce. And if we start to reverse market structure where we start making now lower lows and lower highs, then we can continue, continue to look down to lower levels. But right now, this is a very key area. This is an exciting time. Um, to be trading these markets guys because you know honestly i was getting a little bit bearish when bitcoin rejected so hard off 45.5 45.8k but now that i see the weekly wants to come up a little bit more potentially there's a little bit more juice here guys so make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel blessings to everybody in the name of jesus the messiah i will see everybody in the next video peace